If there is a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while the DJ revolves it. All right, as I predicted, large portions of Texas will be shut down until Friday due to ice, sleet, and freezing rain. That's right, numbnuts. They've started Thursday's school closing. We're talking Dallas Independent, Mansfield, Grapevine, Birdville, Pilot Point. Birds can't fly when it's cold. And I called you numbnuts because I assumed you're standing outside and you're very cold. You should get back inside. Oh, hey, will you looky loo at that? We're talking Comet ZTF. Tammy's Comet is flying on by. Earth making a close approach today. It's got a tail, an anti tail, and it's green. And so that means good luck for everyone? Question mark and asterisk. So I hope you are having a super duper fantastic day. And as you can see, the Ice is not only causing problems in Texas, but in Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Kentucky, and even Tennessee. And we might see some icing up into like the Carolinas and the Virginias. So everybody stay alert, stay aware. And I would stay home. But hey, if you want to be some of the people that are out driving, it's a free country. You can still do what you want. Here we're looking at Austin, who's definitely been hit hard by ice and some of their power outages. Right now, I do believe we have over a quarter of a million people without power as ice is heavy and really screws shit up. And so you got transformers blowing out over a lot of places. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's about 300,000 people, 297, 315 without power in Texas. So hopefully they've got candles and and acoustic guitars although it's hard to play acoustic guitar if you're freezing how are you doing today so yeah you got today off today's wednesday you got tomorrow off tomorrow's thursday i'm talking to people in these areas over here you probably gotta do shit imagine good luck with that i do want to know who's out driving today in this weather in texas because everything's closed i haven't called the bars in walking distance last night they were closed it's like, dang. Man, I just screwed up. Reed Timmer is in town talking about parking lots becoming skating rinks. Carl Quintana Nilia is talking about every resort in Colorado is is at or above normal for snowfall. And 13 ski areas are 25% above normal or better. And all the people making Al Gore jokes. Can I tell you the Al Gore is from like 1999? So that was like 24 years ago. Now, this is a free country, and I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. I'm saying if you're still using the basic joke from 24 years ago, you might want to upgrade your jokes, man. Um, it'd be like me still making fun of Dan Quayle from the 80s for misspelling potato. But, you know, if you want to make the same joke, go, go right ahead. It is cold. It is freezy. And... This is definitely problematic for those people who are like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna drive in this shit. So yeah, you get a comet, come by the sun, and then you get major solar activity. I'm talking about a coronal mass ejection. And so Carl Batom is like, no, the comets don't affect the sun. And I'm like, yeah, they do. So you're allowed to disagree. I still respect Carl. All right. You know, I don't want to say anything to trigger you guys today. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. We rely on each other. Uh huh. Snow, ice, sleet, grappel, freezing rain, you name it. Before the storm hit, I went to buy groceries and eggs were like $6.80. I was like, no way, dude. I can, I can live without eggs today. Anyway, they say egg prices are falling. Federal Reserve will be talking about rates about the time this video is coming out. Just thought I'd let you know. It's a volcano. Ariel talking about a Gallup poll from 1960 where only 1% of people chose February as their favorite month of the year. Oh, yeah, it's Valentine's Day, man. Whoop. Boonk. Ow. It looked painful. So, yeah, be careful if you're walking or driving or bicycling or motorcycling or flamethrowering. Hey, the sun's ripping it. Did you see that? Ripping it. 
Solar Cycle 25 is definitely stronger than Solar Cycle 24. The daily flux average for January 2023 is 182.6, a new high for Solar Cycle 25 and the highest since August 2002 during Solar Cycle 23. Will Solar Cycle 25 get stronger than Solar Cycle 23? I don't know. Stay tuned. Will I get a good luck kiss for Valentine's Day this year? I don't know. Stay tuned. Polar Vortex coming Wednesday. That's today. So if you're up here, watch out. A lot of people are like, hey, man, I want to go get in a traffic jam. But actually, most of those are people were like truckers who had to work. So shout out to the truckers, man. All right. Smoke them if you got them. I'll talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone. Stay cool.